<laughs> JBL, did you ever have uh, 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 fantasies or, 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 or thoughts of uh, beating up Eric Bischoff at, at, during any of those days? No, absolutely not. I, we, we had a, a very friendly rivalry. We did have the time when they invaded uh, Norfolk, I guess it was. We were at uh, right, right there close, and we invaded uh, we invaded from Norfolk, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, and yeah, we went that, to the that scope. night, yeah. we didn't know what would happen back because we had invaded in that afternoon, and right. we were live, and uh, people went around. Jerry Briscoe went around and told everybody to kind of wait out in the parking lot just because we didn't know what would happen. Right, because so you, you had the Harris gonna... boys out there. You had Ken Shamrock, which we were kind of hoping that uh, Ken Shamrock uh, would just uh, it was about all he needed, really. Yeah, yeah. That was the night that, uh, or the the afternoon. WWE sends their guys over to where we were hoping Ken Shamrock and Haku would get into a fight because it would probably <laughs> st- it would probably still be going. <laughs> and everybody could just watch. That's right. <laughs> but you... actually, you stay the stage guys were stationed all around the parking lot just to see because we had no idea what was going to happen. All it, was, night. It, was a, it was a crazy time. Well, until uh, until the show was over and Vince and them actually left the, wow. the arena because we don't think they'd come try to uh, reciprocate in some way. Did you know that that there were people Eric stationed just in case you sent troops over? No, I mean I had no idea any of that was going on, and that's one of the things that I regret the most because had I known, mm-hmm. I would have let them in. Had I known, whatever would have happened would have happened on television, and it would have been so much just better. Just call, call the bluff. Oh, call the bluff. Yeah. I mean, anybody that knows me, and if you just look back at the way I did things back then in terms of television, I think that would have been some of the greatest television in the history of wrestling. So we're talking about uh, when when DX from the WWE went over to Nitro and 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 was like uh, outside in the parking lot and threatening to come in. They were driving a tank and they, and were... they had no plan. No, I mean they had no well, plan. They had a little bit of a oh, plan. Oh, you did not. You were there, right? Oh yeah, I was there directing the whole thing. And, I love and the we fact were... you had a dummy tape though. A dummy tape that in case we your did. tape got kidnapped, you were going to sneak one yes. out. That was I mean, you, had, you actually had a plan. But if, you're, oh, we if, had, you had, the, if you got the build, though, say Eric would have let you in. If you got the building, what would you have done? Oh, God, we just would have taped it and gone for it. We were kind of hoping. <laughs> no we were clue. hoping. We were hoping for the bravado. We were hoping we were going to get in and get something. But, but you yeah, know what? Had... I, I, honestly, I don't think what you would have gotten would have been worth the it effort. Probably, you're right. Because the, the boys, there was no heat between yeah, the boys. Right. No, there was They would have broken in. They would have no. come in. They would have been all in character. And, you know, doors would have been kicked down. And they would have got to the ring and high five at each other and, yeah. you know, having a good time. Well, let's go crack a beer. So it would have killed the whole thing, I think. So I, I agree completely. So that's. The way you felt about the WCW? Oh, we had no anim- we had no animosity toward those guys. Right, we, you know, Every- we, they were trying to put us out of business when, and we were trying to stay alive. <laughs> yeah. So you know, th- there was a the, the, the professional uh, fight between us, but there was no animosity between us uh, personally. You were all part of the same fraternity. Absolutely, yeah. you're all. Everybody's I mean, trying to make a living. The boys right. are trying to make a living, and you don't want to put your buddy out of out of work.